Most parents take extra care to slather their children with sunscreen this time of year, but what about the little one's eyes? Children and adolescents are especially vulnerable to overexposure to the sun's ultraviolet rays, since their ocular lenses cannot filter out UV light as effectively as adults, which can cause cumulative and irreversible damage to the retina. Here with some safety tips is Dr. Don Hartman, a board-certified optometrist who's joining us from Columbus, Ohio. Dr. Dr. Hartman, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Tanya. So, Doctor, a recent survey by the American Academy of Ophthalmology shows that less than half of parents enforce sunglasses for their children. Does this worry you? Absolutely. I mean, as you said, we know that the effects are cumulative and we're increasing our risk of cataracts um, and macular degeneration for kids. So when it comes to UV protection, starting younger is better. So tell us, what are the short-term and long-term implications of too much sun exposure to the eyes? I mean, in the short term, can our children's eyes get sunburn? You can have um, a form of sunburn called photokeratitis. And usually with good medical care, it, it, it can heal up nicely. But certainly it's the long-term damage that we worry about. And we know that most UV damage has accumulated by the age of 18. So we really need to start young. And what, what are some of the long-term problems that we are seeing, that researchers are now seeing in eyes that, that can be pointed back to damage that happened before when, the, when you, they were children? Well, to your point, kids um, give more UV light into their eye. They tend to be outside a lot more than adults, so they have more UV exposure. That light absorbs into the lens of the eye, which clouds it up, which can result in the cataract. Also, as light reaches the retina, it can damage um, the macula, which is where we have our central vision. Now, we know that the, sun, the skin's risk for sunburn is greatest from 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. I'm sorry, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We understand that the risk is greatest to the eyes from 8 to 10 a.m. and again from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Why is that? So the brow creates kind of a natural shade when the sun is right overhead at noon. So actually when the sun is lower in the horizon, it's hitting the eye more directly. All right, so is there an added danger depending on the color of your children's eyes, brown versus blue? So lighter eyes have less pigment. So, you know, we would recommend that kids with lighter eyes definitely have UV protection, but all kids should have it. So tell us what, are the, what kinds of sunglasses should parents be looking for for children? Well, you know, parents know their kids best. I think you want to find something that they're going to be comfortable with, that they're going to tolerate. So, you know, and, and I like big wraparound frames that give the best um, protection. I like polarized lenses because they're better quality vision. I think a lot of times kids don't wear their sunglasses because they don't like the way they look or their vision is a little bit cloudy. So, you know, spend some time with your child, kind of enjoy that process so that you can make wearing sunglasses part of their daily habit. And of course, you have to look for 100% UV protection, right? Because not all sunglasses have that. Absolutely right. And added to that, you can look at uh, glasses that have 100% UV protection and polarization, which eliminates glare. And we know that reflect, reflected light can cause more damage than direct sun exposure. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Hartman. Thank you.